I want you guys to meet Juan, and I want you guys to meet Tito. It's your boy Trey Harrison Jr. and in this video I'll explain on how I manage both bodybuilding and track and field. I know those are two very contradicting things, but in this video I'll give you guys some useful tips, some strategies, and also some information that you guys can utilize um, and carry that over to become a beast on the track and become a beast in the gym. Alright, so that's coming up. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me. 81, they'll bring the crash. All right, guys, now that we got that out of the way, I'm pretty much gonna just roll with this, all right? This is uncut footage. This is uh, raw footage, okay? I'm just gonna walk you guys through what I do on a normal basis, um, Monday through Friday, um, okay? All my classes are 8 a.m.s. All of them are 8 a.m.s, okay? So normally what I do is I have my phone, all right? You see that nice little fancy dancy phone case? Supreme, we're Supreme around here. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> all right, so I set my phone to 6.50. I set my actual clock to seven o'clock, all right? That way if this the phone doesn't go off, I still have another, another clock that I can use, right? So that, that's a 10 minute time frame. So if I don't get up the first time, I have 10 more minutes to sleep in, but whatever. <laughs> so then what I do is as soon as I wake up, I make sure I drink that protein shake down, right? So when I drink that protein shake down, I'm drinking down 25 grams. 25 grams of protein, all right, with water because I don't have milk in my refrigerator, I just, I don't. So then I take my shower, do whatever I gotta do, I get right, get right. Um, I'm fresh, I'm fly, I'm so, um, Bruh. But then after I get that out of the way, um, I head over to the cafeteria, all right, where I get all my food. Where I get food, the cafeteria doesn't open until 7.30, and I have class at 8. So you can already see where the problem lies. It's a 5 to 10 minute walk there, burn time. Then on top of that, I got to make the food. So how I simply manage track and field and bodybuilding. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing a program right now, so it kind of helps with managing both bodybuilding, you know, coming in, knowing how many sets you have to do, knowing how many reps you have to do, knowing what you have to do in that day, you know? It runs you through everything. It's a whole schedule, okay? So it's pretty much like you're going in there and you already know exactly what to do. You don't have to guess. You don't have to, hmm, should I, what do I feel like doing? My chest is sore, so maybe I should do back. You don't have to do any of that. That's why I love this plan. Um, but as far as track goes, how do I run track and then do a lift session after or complete a lift session after? I don't really do that anymore because I noticed that my body just, oh man, it responds in a negative way. So sometimes I notice that I have an hour to two hours in between classes early on. So what I normally do is I have a substantial amount of pre-workout left. So I take my pre-workout, it gets me you know, in the mood, um, pretty hyped, the gym is pretty empty. So I, I need that little boost, you know what I mean? Um, that I'm already gonna be focused, there's no one in the gym, but I, I want to, you know, I wanna be actually there, you know? in the training session like I want to have a crazy all my sessions all my training sessions it's like I'm preparing to like battle it's like I'm preparing for war like I want to kill that workout I want to kill the workout because if you're not killing the workout you're not maximizing um, pretty much what you know you could potentially benefit from you know if you're going half I don't want to say the word because I know my parents might be watching but if you're, you're if you're just halving the workout you're not gonna benefit from it. So I, I like to go hardcore, full everything, full throttle, okay? So what I do is I normally just go early on in the day. So if I go early on in the day, I still have about two or three classes left. Um, that gives me my body more than enough time to adapt and to, to relax a little bit, to get used to what's going on. I'm going a little bit early. Um, my body's a little bit adjusted to it, but it beats, I'm telling you guys, having to lift right after because I don't know about you guys, but my training sessions now, especially that I'm on a program, they're not even like how they used to be. They're not an hour, hour and 10 minutes, they're two hours. And I said that without hesitation. No st stutter, nothing. <laughs> they're two hours. They're two hours, two hours long. Um, 
and it, it covers everything. It literally walks, it's so many sets, it's so many reps. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. It's a love-hate relationship. But that's what I'm doing right now. That's how I manage track. And my coach literally, um, he, he has the whole track workout stuff set for me, so I don't really have to worry about that. And since I'm a sprinter, this is a much different situation um, than uh, a, a person that runs for distance. If you're a long distance runner, this this is not gonna work for you. But if you're not burning as much calories, you can pretty much put yourself at a high calorie consumption. So that's what I do. I've, I've been seeing results. I've been using utilizing this pro uh, program for two weeks now. Um, so I feel like it's, it's definitely working. Um, biceps are like my, my weak point. My chest is full. My legs are keeping up with everything else because Everything has to be proportional. You can't have like big traps, a small head, a little neck. Little arms, little legs, big thighs. Everything has to be proportional. That's what, you know, having an aesthetic look is. I make sure I go hard on all my workouts. It's not like I'm cutting or I'm going 80% on, you know, my track workout and then I'm going 100% in my, my training workout. You have to make sure that, you know, you, you, you get an overall feel. And by all means, try it out, see how your body feels, you know. Um, you don't wanna just rush into things. Um, especially, I feel bad for others that have done what I have done in the past and they, they, they train, they run, they do whatever they have to do. You're burning like, Six to six hundred to a thousand calories, and then you're got to train right after. It's crazy. It's taxing on the body, and you're not allowing your body to get adjusted. And your body needs rest, and pretty much you're just gonna put yourself at your your, your body's just gonna be in depletion. I make sure that all my meals. I'm not sure if I stated this, but I try to make sure that they're a thousand calories. I try to make sure. I really try to make sure that I hit a thousand calories for each of the four meals. That way, I'll have a calorie intake of four thousand calories that'll put me way over my normal or standard calorie consumption, which is I think like 3,200. This might sound crazy, and I'm so tired of it. So I don't know if you guys can hear it in the tone of my voice, but I am so tired of having pasta every single day. I have pasta literally, literally every single day. The only thing that changes may be the sauce, either it be Alfredo or a marinara. Like it's, oh my God, I hate it. And it's always washed down with the same drink, milk. Whoa! Oh, somebody, oh, he no. needs some milk. Water, it, it's, uh, so. That's normally what I do. It's it's really a struggle. It I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It is a struggle because it's like you're you're doing all this work, right? You're training your body. That lactic acid threshold is catching up to you. You just aren't feeling all like after a training session in track, and then you got in your mind you're gonna have a brutal training session. Oh, ah. Scary, and but just remember to plan out everything, all right? So most of the successful people in life are there because they plan everything out. They had a plan, they had a schedule, and they stayed true to it, all right? So with all that said, I hope you guys liked you know, my content. Uh, I know we went a little bit over, but I tried to make a story out of it because I just didn't wanna be like, I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. I kind of want to like fill you guys into what I actually do and how I actually follow it. It's not like something strict. I try to have fun with it. Not everything has to be, you know, so serious. Like, you know, just live life, man. So, um, at the end of the day, I'm always gonna put this content out for you guys. All right, guys, now that's all I got for you. I believe I covered all the bases. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. I'll definitely get back to you. If you post it at 720, I'll give you a response at 721. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best to get back to you guys. Like I said, crazy schedule, but I got you guys. Um, make sure you, you guys drop a like, a comment, and let's let's keep this, this channel live. Look alive, look alive. That's all I got for you guys. So um, as always, it's your boy Trey Searson Jr. Stay tuned for more of my awesome videos because you know my videos stay lit, my beats are lit. Yeah, everything's lit. So as always, drop a like, drop a comment, and you remember Juan and Tito, stop playing.